All right, Uncle Sam FM here with the Iron Manager series, and this is unlucky episode number 13. And I, I don't anticipate being lucky in this episode. Uh, I, we will be taking on LAFC in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup quarterfinal, and LAFC is a very good team. First of all, let me just kind of take you through uh, how things have been going since the last live com, the last video. <clears throat> the last video I showed you was a 2 to nothing win in the uh, fourth round of the Open Cup over the LA Galaxy. Um, that went well. Zimmerman scored on the corner. Dax McCarthy closed his eyes and thumped a ball into the box that David Akam put away, and we went 2 to nothing. Uh, immediately after that, we turned around and played the Galaxy two days later in the league, and we again repeated our performance, and almost the exact same um, sequence of events. We did not score on a corner, but we, you know, in the cup game, 52nd and 57th minutes, and then in the league game, the 50th minute and the 62nd minute, and then we coasted to the two to nothing win. So that was good. <clears throat> then we go to LA or to the Real Salt Lake. Should have won. Ended up with a 0-0 tie. Wins over Portland, Colorado, Vancouver. And then I took one of the most severe beatings that I've ever taken in FM. Uh, I played my second, mostly a second team against the Philadelphia Union because I had a uh, open cup match so that I, I really wanted to win. But even with the guys I had, I put on the field. I think that just that game just did not go well. I was down three to nothing, twelve minutes in, and I was really kind of starting to wonder if I was about to give up double digit goals. And uh, they, they were they were clinical. I mean, they were the better team. Um, you see, they had twenty shots to my seven. I did have I did you know control possession, but you know what are you gonna? It doesn't really matter if you don't if you don't get very many shots and so they were the better team and they showed it um and then but we did get things turned around we played the colorado springs and it was probably a good thing i put my first team out there because we we could not get a goal to save our lives 28 shots to their four we had you know two and three clear and half cut chances Went to penalties, and I did win on penalties 5-3. to three. So uh, we did advance, and that's where we are today in the Open Cup. And league play after that uh, win against Colorado Springs. Had a really nice performance against Toronto FC, and then three draws in a row. And most frustrating was this Chicago draw where I took a 2 to nothing lead on... I, I want to show you. Dax McCarty, he absolutely blasted... Uh, two long shots and we'll we'll watch the highlight here uh they were absolute cannons here you see um he takes it from mctar uh, and that one you know he might have kind of got lucky it squirted a little bit but this second goal was just an absolute i mean this had a ton of guile on it right there you saw it 25 yards out and it was that was a nice goal so we, we get a two nothing lead and it really, Chicago kind of took over the run of play, and it was no matter what I did. Like, I made changes, but we just could not get things back on track. They kept um, finding space and gaps. And, and we, now the goal that Sapong scored, if I recall, that tied it. Yeah, it was a really stupid mistake where Zimmerman just let somebody take it off of him. And even after um, uh, Cropper made the save, they uh, Sapong came in and finished it, and so that was fr that was a really frustrating point to drop, um, but we did, and so three matches in a row at home, and we we did not we had to settle for draws in in all three, so that's really kind of I as far as I I mean we do still have a lot of a lot of at league play to go right I've got what ten matches left, but uh, I'd say that our chances of of winning the conference are gone right because I'm. I mean, I guess they're not technically... Like, okay, so I, I, San Jose, they've got a game in hand on me and a four-point lead. Um, so, you know, seven points is not impossible to make up over ten matches, but that's going to be difficult. Uh, LAFC has three matches in hand. So, theoretically, they could be 12 points ahead of us. And they are the class of, of the conference, probably the league right now. They And that's who, I, that's who my challenge is today. If I'm going to advance in the Open Cup... I have to beat LAFC. I did it earlier this year. Um, but I'm honestly not... It's kind of... It surprises me because I don't even really know how I was able to do that. Um, 
when you look at the team they have, like let's look at uh, first of all, well, let's let's go and just so clearly they're starting eleven w- far and above. There are no weaknesses in this starting eleven except maybe Tristan Blackman, uh, who is their right back. So if they start Tristan Backman, Blackman, I guess I can go try going down the right side. Um, I guess it would be it'd be my left side. We can try attacking the left, seeing if that helps. But you know he'll have help from Ganella or Janella uh, on that side. From the he's a probably going to play kind of a ball winning midfielder role, uh, you know. And so like they're just there. That is by far the best team in the league. And, and they've even got a better fullback on the bench, Silva. Now my one saving grace might be the uh, foreign player rules, which you can only have five uh, non American players in the Open Cup. So uh, just a real quick count. Um, and they're starting 11. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a couple of those guys are going to have to be on the bench. Um, well, they're, no, they're, they're not even, they can't dress. They can't even be on the team. So uh, so that might help. But still, you look at this team. I mean, look at these salaries. Right? Like they've got six million, one million, almost four million there, 400,000. Um, you go to my squad, I have one player making over a million dollars, and that's David Akam. And it's just barely over a million. Uh, even my DP, um, Mukhtar, is only making five hundred thousand. So you know they're 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 the better quality wise. They're going to be the better team. So uh, if I do win this thing, it's going to probably going to there's probably going to be some luck involved. And the fact that this is episode thirteen does not bode well for that. But let's go ahead and see if I can you know pull off a miracle here. I did it once, right? So. Well, we already beat LAFC once this season. Um, to make matters even more worse, uh, we are playing at Bank of California Stadium. That is uh, LAFC's home stadium. And I also have two players on international duty. You know, we should go look at that. Just real quick. Um, my clicking is not going well right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, so here you look at the... My so Walker Zimmerman literally got injured like two days ago, so that was awesome. Yeah, July eighth, and it is the ninth, so he got injured yesterday. <laughs> he is my obviously my best center back, and so I've got a couple decent players behind him, but he you know he's my best center back. He actually also been on kind of a goal scoring run. He he got uh, he scored a couple goals in the last three or four matches. So and Leal, he is he's not a starter, but you know he's good to have on the bench. He can help. Uh, he is on international duty with Costa Rica, and then Percy Oliveras has become my starting right back, and he's with the Peru under 23s. So, so that is my situation, which obviously is not ideal. Okay, so um, LAFC they uh, last season, you know, I think it was the last season, sacked Bob Bradley. They brought in Dominic Laurent, who has kind of brought with him that that Man City type play. Uh, at least that's kind of what the stats show. Ooh, Velo the nice through ball to Rodriguez, who puts it away. Proper just stood there and watched. Okay, so that's not good. All right. Doy up to Dunlady. Drops it to Mukhtar, finds Dotson. Dunlady, Mukhtar's shot is tipped over the bar by Vermeer, their goalkeeper. Mukhtar now with the corner. Oh, the shot from somebody. <laughs> I'm not sure who took that, but keeper made to say. I think it was Godoy. Free kick deep in our area. And we give it away. And Cropper makes the save. All right, halftime. Uh, things not going well. We're down 1 0 on a goal from Brian Rodriguez. Rodriguez sort of treated my back line like a cone drill and um, scores the goal, and so we're down one nothing. I might have made a mistake here. Let me go cautious. I, I'm down one nothing. I've got I've got to go for the win. I can't play for a draw or whatever. I've, I've, we've got to score, so I've put it on, I've put on my chase instruction, but. Uh, Latif Blessing scored the goal against us last time. So, yeah, this does not look good. I had... Eh, just a good... I mean, you know. 
we got in behind us and had my guys back for all turn to the that's just what happens with those short crosses yeah i had it on i had put on my chase instructions i have a construction set for coming back but the, the i have that set as, as positive mentality I, if i would have had remembered that and set it to cautious who knows but because i was positive they were hitting me Oh, and Vela is a third. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of unraveling. Um, yeah, that might be Burlhalter's son out there. <clears throat> yeah, they just carved me up. They just carved me up. They are, um, <laughs> they are the better team. I probably didn't handle this one very well either tactically. Yeah, at this point, three to nothing. That's <clears throat> that's all but over. I'm not gonna make that up against LAFC. So I'm gonna start bringing in some younger guys. Let Josh Perez have some, get some appearances. Uh, I brought Zalalem in, I think. Um, I guess like you know, silver lining. We the board just wanted me to get to the round of 16, and there's a goal. That was just a sad goal. <clears throat> Yeah, they're peppering me. They're, they, I mean, they're the better team, and they're showing it today. This is, um, I, I've kind of, to be honest, to be fair, I, yeah, I've really just sort of given up here. I'm not even, um, I probably, whatever, I, stuff I could be doing, but, you know, 4 nothing in a cup match, it's, <laughs> what's done is done. So, uh, we'll be able to focus on league play, I guess. That's one silver lining. And still couldn't even get a consolation goal right there from Perez. But we have a corner. Let's see what Mukhtar can do. Puts it into the area, and Mahar got it, but could not finish it. It's the story of our day. Cam drops it to Dotson, to Jones. Yeah, my guys don't even care now. They're... <clears throat> All right. Oh, so that was just that was just ugly. Um, I mean, you look at the stats; it, it, they don't show a four to nothing loss. But you know that's what happens when. I, I think that's the difference. You know, a lot of the difference in quality is uh, how many of your chances that you put away, and they put away four, and we put away zero. Um, they were the better team. I'm not trying to say that we were done harshly here, but. You know, the difference on shots is only 14 to 10. 9 to 4 on shots on target is bad. But um, and we did have possession, and they are a possession team. So probably should have monitored my passing out of defense a little closer. That's where I. That's where it, we got hit. Um, Could have went with my 4-2-1-3. That might have made a difference there with passing. And then also probably should have taken off the play up. Uh, play out of the back um before i did but you know what that's hindsight right so um looking ahead i do have a lot of friendlies coming up we got a big gap here and that's mls has this gap in august for the purpose of scheduling friendly so i scheduled the biggest teams i could uh, playing everton Bayer leverkusen torino celtic stuttgart and then we we, we get lafc again um, if we're going to get back into the league, uh, um, that'll be when we have to do it, right? Because we, we got, first of all, we need maximum points here out of Colorado, the Galaxy, and Portland. And then we've got to finish strong, right? So uh, hopefully we can. Uh, so episode 13 went about like, it went worse than I thought it was going to go, but uh, I, <laughs> well it's I, i'd hope to do a little better but uh you know what that was it, on the 13th that's what you get right um i'm not superstitious but 
Uh, now I'm thinking about it after a 4 nothing loss on my 13th episode. So hopefully we can get it going. Uh, real quick before we get back, we'll just kind of uh, I'll let you go. Look at kind of how, how the guys are doing statistically. Um, as usual, goals are being spread around. Uh, Dunlady has 6, Cam has 7, and then Baji uh, has gotten 4. Uh, Mukhtar actually is my leading scorer from the number 10 position. To be fair, uh, or no, 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 he's leading a sister, sorry. Um, yeah, he has leads and assists at number 10. He does have three goals. Um, so that, you know, and to be fair, his position, 10 lends itself to where to higher assists. He also takes penalties, so that probably helps, you know, his statistics. I'm actually kind of hoping that somebody wants to come in and buy him. He is my best player, but I don't like his... Um, I don't like his determination, and I don't know. He's got just his his personality is fairly ambitious, but he's just kind of got this attitude. He he bails out of games quick, and you know, I kind of lose him. So <clears throat> that's been kind of frustrating. So if somebody wants to come in and buy him, I'm kind of hoping that that happens. But um, my, now looking ahead, like into the future, <clears throat> uh, I am kind of excited about the some the performance of some of these younger players, like Shane James. He's only came in what? Uh, yeah, he's a, he's got seven appearances total. He's started three times, but he's got four goals. He's got a seven um, average rating, so that's good. McCarty, center back, who I'm kind of hopeful for. Like, I'd like for him to be a better passer. <clears throat> he's only got a five vision, which is kind of frustrating, but. Uh, he has performed well, seven over seven uh, average rating. Calvillo, uh, again, he's on, you know twelve appearances. Um, he's you know started twelve times, came on as a sub six. He's uh, he's doing well. He's got a seven point one five rating, um, two goals, two assists. Right, he usually plays that number ten spot. Um, Pierre Jacome, seven point one nine. Uh, Anunga is I, he's a guy that I kind of don't want to keep but he keeps performing well when I put him out there and he's making it hard on me to get rid of him um, Zalalem 7.3 right I, I had hoped to kind of develop him into the player that a lot of us Americans were hoping that he would become I've got him being mentored and that seems to be helping his determination it's already gone up to a 9 from I think it was a 7 or 8 so you know like so th looking ahead looking to the future these young guys are performing well and so um hopefully next season games like today won't happen i won't be taking four nil losses uh, i do need better performances out of Oliveras. um again not terrible but you know he's playing right back so i need him to have more than one assist and, you know in 10 starts you know i need him to have better than a 699 rating um, that right back position is already, you know, it's not. He and Beckles has not, have not really been what I need it to be. Beckles has a four and assist, but he also has a six point eight eight rating. His passing percentage is only eighty seven, so um, that's got to get better. So this, um, I'll let that kind of be the end of it. Tough loss today. Just kind of, I don't know. Uh, ballparking uh, next episode maybe i'll come back after this series of friendlies is over and we'll see if i can uh get a little revenge a little payback from the for that la fc defeat hopefully walker zimmerman will be uh back from injury so um i will go ahead and let this be the end of the episode and i will see you next time